Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you all, wherever you are in the world. My name is Nick Ferrand, and these are my Italian one take property tours. Today we are in Cita di Castello. Yes, that's right, we are back. And I just wanted to make a comparison from last week's tour, which I will link at the end of this video, and this week's property, because this property is a one bedroom, first floor, lock up and leave, great rental investment, potentially Airbnb, it's got everything. It's got high ceilings, it's got a beautiful galley kitchen made by Boffy. It's, it's got lots going for it for somebody who wanted to buy a home in Italy. Yes, it does. We are nine kilometers approximately from Tuscany. The next town along the dual carriageway is San Sepulcro in Tuscany. And that, as you know, is a beautiful city. Are you ready? Let's go. Now, I've started the tour at the back of the house because um, and there's another gate that you can lead out to the road below, which is much quieter, because um, there is somebody or a building company, which at this moment in time is sandblasting a building, and it was jolly noisy. Now, we will come back out here because this apartment has a cantina, which is downstairs, which is absolutely perfect for your electric bikes or your mountain bikes, or your storage while you're away, or your personal effects if you wanted to rent the house. It really is. Now, look, really nice woodwork. I'll see if I can get a light on in here. I know I, there's a light in the other section which is automatic. Can I see it? Oh no, it's on the other one. <laughs> Silly me. Okay, so let's get our bearings right. We're gonna come down there at the end and I'm just gonna show you, but you've got a beautiful, stone staircase which comes up and also a benefit to a lot of people there is a elevator right now if i'm not mistaken automatic lights will start now let me pull back here so you can see the front door this is a 17th century building which has been converted into a condominium of a number of apartments and the average property tax per annum or the condominium charge is 500 euros. That's a beautiful security door on this. I'm just gonna push this door open so you can have a look at that as I step back. Oh, <laughs> don't close on me. Now you see that at the back of the door. These doors are manufactured in Italy and they have security bars. You are not going to get through there. Right, in we go. Now the first thing I can see as I step in is this wonderful big room. I mean, look at the size of that. It's just amazing. Beautiful Murano glass chandelier. Great big windows with very thick double glazing. I can see a CCTV camera as your entry phone. Oh, it's lovely. Now, I know they're sandblasting in the street outside, but to be honest with you, with this double glazing, I can't hear a thing inside the house. I really can't. I'm going to pull back into the corner so you can get an idea of the size of the room. Yeah, it's huge. Ceiling height must be at least four meters, maybe four and a half meters. Right, let's get around and get into the kitchen. Now the kitchen's not huge, but it's a boffy kitchen and anybody who knows about kitchens will know that boffy is a incredibly expensive make and this has been bespoke made for this space and it is all in stainless steel. I can see a dishwasher at the end, a work surface, drawers underneath, an extractor fan, and a fridge freezer in the corner. Yeah. 
oven, five burner hob, marble backsplash. Perfect, absolutely perfect. Pulling out into the reception room again, there is an original fireplace, but that has been blocked up at some stage and probably you won't be able to open it up. Beautiful windows. Gas central heating. Terracotta flooring. Really nice colors. Now, one of the things that the owner has done here, and I think that's really nice, is that they've sourced old doors from the 16th, 17th century, um, and they've added those. But first of all, I wanted to show you this, because this wardrobe, I think, has been made especially, and the old doors have been found from somewhere else and painted, and then the interior of the closets have been made to fit that space. And that is jolly nice. Absolutely jolly nice. But oh, look at these doors. I mean, this is the first door which we're going to have a look at. And it's been rubbed down and left. And I think it's charming. Yeah, they're beautiful. Now, again, huge, big window. You will get the afternoon light streaming through. Really nice hexagonal tiles on the floor. And this is a bit of fun because this has become quite fashionable and that is taking old furniture and then making your sink and connecting it on top. And I just think that's just a lot of fun. Here it is. You've got a bidet and a toilet and as we come through and I'm just going to pull around and give you the return of the shower. Nice colour and the shower has been painted with a waterproof paint. And I really like those industrial taps. Yes, I do. I think they're just a lot of fun. I really do. Ah, oh, the door's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I've seen them in many houses and I just think they work so well in Italy. They're becoming quite expensive now to find. I mean, nice ones. Okay, so you come out and you come into the bedroom. Again, beautiful doors, very nice color on the walls. And you come into what is a very large bedroom and a very large window and a bath in your bedroom, which is perfect because you'll be able to just get out of bed and fall into the bath. <laughs> it might not be everybody, but it's a jolly nice bath, I must say. I do like those uh, roll top baths. I mean, isn't that a bit of fun? It really is. Now, I'm not quite sure whether this house can be purchased with the furniture. Um, I will have to own, ask the owner about that. Yeah, I do like the space, actually. It's a lovely one-bedroom apartment. It really is. It's got a lot going for it. Right, let's get back into the living room, and then I'm going to take you back out to where I started the video and show you the cantina. Oh, I've missed something. It's very quiet. It's very peaceful inside. I really like the opening on stone into the kitchen area. Again, look, beautiful reclaimed door. And I just want to show you this because I think it's important. And then in here, you've got your storage for your coats. And I can't get into this because the little hoover is below. But just there, under this 
cupboard. If I open that cupboard door, there's the central heating boiler. And in here, there's the electrical fuse box. Perfect. Nice radiators. Yeah. It's a nice apartment. And you can see, can't you? It could be a fantastic rental apartment. Right. Let's go and have a look at the cantina. There's the elevator right outside if you've got heavy stuff that you want to bring up. There's automatic lighting. As I mentioned, I'm not quite sure how many apartments are in here. I'm going to try to find out for you. I'll just close the door so I hope I've got the keys. <laughs> Okay, so we are going to walk back out to where I started the video and then hopefully I can pull up and then you can see this beautiful woodwork which is above. Yeah, it's jolly nice. Absolutely lovely, beautiful door leading out. Right, and then we come down. and down the stairs and then you can see, can you see the gate? You can go straight out onto the street, but we are going to come down here. There is free parking, um, which is approximately a five minute walk away. Okay, so you come out into a little courtyard that we've come down to the stairs. Um, I think this is a communal space, but here at the bottom, the apartment comes with this cantina and I think it is fantastic. Hang on, let's see if I can get a light on. Yeah, right. I mean, look, I mean, someone spent some time and money in here because it has a beautiful ceiling that looks like it's being sandblasted. The little unit that you can see on the left-hand side of the frame, and that is a little electric hot water heater for the sink, which is below. But here you have a tumble dryer and your washing machine. And it is really just a perfect space for you to put all your stuff and your you know, electric bikes or your mountain bikes and all the other bits and pieces. Well, it might even make a really nice little artist studio. It really could. Oh, fantastic. Again, lovely doors. They must have put those on. I don't know, I might ask about that. Now I know we're doing this the wrong way around because I'm, I've done the house and I'm now going to do the entrance hall, but you've got well, a lot of reverb, but you've got the beautiful stone steps. If I pull around and the glass that you can see coming into frame now is the elevator and then we're coming down to, yeah, it's, a, it's a beautiful original door, it really is. Let's just come down these stairs. Yeah, I can hear the generator from the sandblaster. I thought this was really interesting as well as a little bit of detail. Now that is a letterbox. Now, I'm not sure whether at one point somebody would have taken your letters, you would have posted them, or it was for the postino, you know, the postman to actually leave the letters for, well, what would have been, I would have thought, one house at one stage. The door is just wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Right, camera will adjust. And this is the view which you are getting from your windows. You are looking straight across the street at another beautiful, beautiful palazzo. Grazie. We're just going to get out of the sun for the moment. Actually, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to come round 
and I'm going to put the camera down as this is my one take property tour I am going to give you the final bits and pieces right now so here I am in the main street the main square to Cita de Castello is literally 200 meters away and there you can there's a market um, there's also an antiques market which I will be going to on the third Sunday of each month okay let's recap 90 square meters first floor apartments in the middle of the old town with your bar and pizza and restaurants and everything that you want very good hospital here it's about 10 minutes away in a car you've got everything that you need and the price the price of this little apartment 90 square meters is 280,000 euros comments below i will say that the owner is very keen to sell so by all means make an offer my name is nick ferrand and these are my italian one take property tours for everybody who has subscribed to this channel and i say it every week big hug thank you and if you have not subscribed to this channel would you be so kind and just push those buttons and that would help me so i can help you until the next tour i'll see you very soon take care ciao